go. See? <laughs> we can hide the shadows. Certainly don't we? That certainly does. Yeah, okay. And this is William Old Camoni. And this is Joyce, not a spring chick chow. And one of the things we're going to show you today are 3D glasses. Now, most of you are familiar with 3D because you've been hearing about it everywhere. Yeah. And, you know, when you go into, well, when you go shopping, when you turn on the TV, when you listen to the radio, or when you go to the movie theater. Oh, yeah. Remember, Seth, things that the same people that complained about sound and color and cinemascope and IMAX, that they're complaining about it as being the reason why movies are not making any money. I think it has to do with tradition and the old guard. Yeah, that's the way it works. But uh, <laughs> one of the things about for moviegoers, a lot of it has to do with experience, what they feel and how they enjoy it. See, on the big screen, otherwise you could just watch it at home. Yeah, well, I mean, like, okay, this is uh, I, I've been involved in 3D productions for 61 years, so I can tell you, you know, well, here is the standard version of the 3D glasses, which mm -hmm. is basically the old red cayenne. Or cyan. Cyan, I know. Who Let's put it this way. I, 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 I've said it wrong 100% of the time. Mm. But um, this is the way you traditionally do it. Actually, virtually all 3D starts out this method. And then it just changes over, you know, because it's, a, it's an optical illusion. But here we got a whole army of glasses in front of you that are 3D glasses. I mean, here is a traditional glass that's used today, which is basically the, um, the polarized filter. You know, and most what, most people recognize this one because it's the real D. It's glasses, the real D. Right. I mean, of course, these are a little bit more expensive than the ones you would get in the movie theater. Mm -hmm. So, and then uh, we have, actually, we have, well, we consider the best of the uh, of the theater glasses out there at the moment. Actually, we were really surprised about this because a lot, like a lot of you, you went to go see Harry Potter. We went for a double header, so we got some Harry Potter special edition 3D glasses. Yeah, and these glasses. Okay, I'm going to give you an example. Okay, we have the the traditional 3D glass and then the Harry Potter glass. All you got to do is to look at the difference between the two of them. And the traditional, look at the form of it versus the Harry Potter spectacles. And actually, those actually might be a little bit better than the traditional one, too. Yeah. Because this, this one was okay. a special one for HP 3D Live with Monster Cable. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> This is Monsters Web. It was the 40th anniversary for Earth, Wind, and Fire. Yeah, so we got those from over there, actually. And yeah. HP did a 3D Live. So they, we got some of those glasses also, but we've got other glasses here which are... These are more simple. These it's are... Usually what you would see. Yeah. It's, 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 these, uh, these are the cyan, the cyan, which is basically that they gave away to look at the, of their 3D stuff being done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and <laughs> to give you the feeling of the new Scion cars. Yeah, and then here, where the glasses from the Monster Party at CES. Oh yeah, if you had the VIP gold tickets. You got Gooner glasses, mm -hmm. and I consider actually of all the glasses you see on the table, other than the Harry Potter glasses, these are the most superior glasses. Well, these are these Gunnar glasses. They make these for 3D, but they also make them for high performance for people viewing like for many hours on computer screen. Yeah, you know, these are these are heavy duty. They're metal, and they tend to fit on the face more comfortably than the other glasses. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, what it is is, I mean, I can tell you, at CES, I walked around with these glasses, and you know, I, I didn't take them off when I go from 3D exhibit to 3D exhibit. I got in trouble once because they said, well, you know. Uh, you can't see 3D with those glasses. And they said, yes, I can see 3D with these glasses. They said, no, you can't. And they hand me these. And they said, well, no, you look at these. And they said, and they're going like that. Yeah, I said, these are, these are Gunner 3D glasses. They're made especially for 3D. And they're, but these are all passive glasses we have in front of you, like you would use at a theater. Mm -hmm. So and then And see, part of it is, for example, when he first talked about these glasses, these are the anaglyph which you typically see. Um, remember when you were doing 3D at home and then you get the 3D glasses that yeah. come in, right, at, at the car, you know, the uh, cardboard glasses? Yeah. So... These happen to be a little bit better. I, I know, these are considerably better than the cardboard glasses, folks. Mm -hmm. And then, we, like I said, we, we've gone off of that to polarized lenses. We got more pay and more that you buy. We got uh, what? These are actually these glasses here are by Marshawn. Yeah. Marshawn is a sunglass, or actually they're a 
eyewear manufacturer to make sunglasses as well as other eyewear. Yeah. What's unique about Marshawn is not only do they make these glasses, but they also make them, you're going to see these other ones, um, the Calvin Kleins. Now the Marshawn has a lot of styles. When I first saw them at CES, I was actually surprised at how many different styles yeah. they have. And here's some of the other unique parts is I know they also have clip-ons that they were coming out yeah, with. We haven't seen them, but uh, back a long, back in the early days, because the fact was, I know when we, I was doing things in the 50s, they grumped a lot about people that, you know, they'd have prescription glasses. And you put, um, like, we'll use these as a set. This is what we were using in my day, which was this. You put these over the top and basically, um, gives you a really weird looking feeling experience. Well, because part of it is, is the glasses are meant to fit like at a certain distance from yeah. your eyes. And if you've already got glasses or prescription eyewear in front of it, then by the time you add the other one, they don't yeah. fit the like they're supposed to. Yeah, 3D is an optical illusion. When you're putting things on top of things, it changes the illusion. Mm -hmm. So part of it is with the Marshawn ones. I think they also did say they were coming out with prescription eyewear too. Yeah, same. So uh, a lot of them are coming out this month. Um, yeah. July. So we're going to see a lot of changes on this. Um, as far as prescription eyewear, see, I think the easiest ones are the clip ons. Yeah. They make it really easy. And they're, uh, they quoted me the price at CES. I don't know if it's changed. But the price was very, very reasonable. And here's a great part about these because if you notice the size of these, a lot of times people have prescription eyewear that are about this size. Yeah. And so the nice part about it is by the time you add these on top, because they're larger, yeah. Um, as far as if you're stacking glasses one on top of each other, they're easier because they're larger. Yeah, and a lot of people, when we watch, we've, we've been watching 3D movies all summer, and a lot of the people are stacking. When she wears glasses too, and she was stacking glasses at the moment. We also have Marshawn's Calvin Klein over here too. Yeah, now Marshawn actually make, manufactures these glasses for Calvin Klein, and what's cool about these is the Calvin Klein, Klein glasses. Um, can also be sunglasses, yeah. which unlike the other ones, well, these can these can, these are not sunglasses, but I have them. So. Well, these can be worn as sunglasses. They're larger. They are a little bit more. They are more expensive than the other ones, but it gives you an idea. Well, let's see, you yeah. can go from outside yeah. to inside. They're a little bit, you know, more stylish because yeah. they're also sunglasses. Well, they're far more stylish. I mean, look at the how we've got on the table in front of you. And see which ones they are like. Like this is, this is even getting more stylish. So, yeah, this is another pair of yeah. Calvin Klein sunglasses. And there's oh, excuse me, Calvin Klein 3D 3, sunglasses. But they were we were told they were supposed to be out by now. And actually, we have prototypes in our hands. Shh. I know. <laughs> we, they give they gave them to us to work with. So these yeah. are the so folks. We do have the prototypes. So, but um, you know, we're, we're, you know we're, we only use passives because we're going to try to explain something about 3D. Well, this is what's being you know tossed around. The fact is the fact that that the people that have designed the 3D TV sets don't have any children because if they had children, they would understand the uh, the remote control mm -hmm. and the child. Have you ever seen? If you get children, have you ever seen? You know, Harry. Hey, hey, Harry, toss me the remote control, and Harry throws the remote control, hits the wall, and then. Junior said, Mom, Harry broke the remote control. Uh, picture these as a $125 pair of set of glasses. Mm -hmm. You have X amount of glasses with the TV set you have to buy. And there's generally four in a family, so you've got to have more glasses. So what happens is Junior says, Harry, I don't know where the glasses are. Throw me yours. And Harry throws the $125 set of glasses, hits the wall. And then Junior said, Mom, Harry just broke those glasses. And, uh, yeah. Well, there's a trend right now that's going on because when they originally came out with 3D, most of them were all active shutter glasses. Yeah. Okay? Which re would require those types of glasses. Now there's a trend. We just saw, they said LG. LG, yeah. Mm -hmm. LG, Vizio, they're all of them going to passive glasses now because these things, I mean, okay, I think this is a $10 set of glasses. This is a hundred and fifty dollar set of glasses. I think what is it? These are thirty, forty. Yeah, which is actually. Pretty and then cool. these are a hundred plus dollars yeah. glasses. These are these are special made glasses. You can't get these. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, these are these are basically I think a buck twenty-five a piece. No, actually, those are more expensive because they have the plastic. Well, yeah, you know, like if you put them in, if you put them in bulk, though. Yeah. These are bulk prices. When I say. Well, no, these these are I think are about retail prices. Oh yeah, no, but it's still going to cost you a hundred fifty for those. You can go ahead and pick these up. Uh, these you can pick up right now. You can buy them at Fry's. Fry's and. Uh, these are available, and I think it's sort of like deep motion picture play. They sell it. I think they were talking about a dispenser where you could buy your own glasses. They have been talking about that, but yeah, I well, haven't we don't seen know. it out yet. We haven't seen anything, but uh, you know, so this is like, like there's just as many type of glasses and styles as there are different types of films out there. So. Well, you know, here's the cool part about this is for some of you that are looking, it's like, why do you want to own your own pair of three three gla D glasses? Why not? Yeah, because <laughs> okay. you can. Because, yeah, because you can. They're more stylish. And, you can't. And you, I mean, you can also find a pair. Okay, she has what's known as an Asian bridge, bridge. and she has to have a different type of glass to set on it. I have, uh, you know, my, my, I have a great big, you know, German and Irish nose. Well, you know what's so. really surprising on all of this is because I do. I have that Asian bridge with that little flat nose and high cheekbones. Is usually I cannot. I mean, the amount of glasses I can wear yeah. versus the ones I tried on is like a very small fraction. The amazing part is when I try these on, I think they almost fit them universal. So even people with little bridges like me, yeah. these fit me. They, these uh, fit me well. They do. Okay. What makes these work well is there's adjustable flaps on the inside. And I think it has to go with. And where the those are, are great big bridges, whereas mm -hmm. um, a standard 3D glass has just a standard bridge in here mm -hmm. for people, so it's meant to fit every nose. Which means what happened is, you know, it, uh, it basically sets on, it misses my nose, it sets on my cheeks. Which is basically what it does on her too, so. So you're, if you're sitting there wondering, going, okay, which glass do I get? Sometimes, if all you're doing is looking at how well the glasses are, I like the Gooners. Yeah. The, the pictures are a little bit brighter. Yeah, I like the, I the Gooner. The, Just a little bit. The Gooner, this is the best. The best uh, movie glasses. Yeah, but we've seen. part of it is they can't get those anymore. You can't get those, which is a real thing. So the Gooner is the best that we see that you can buy on the market. These but it is fractionally better than what you can see with the other ones. The Marshalls and the Calvin Kleins are really yeah. about the same experience. Yeah, and but the Marshall and Calvin Kleins are the same company, though. Mm -hmm. So part of it is is the Gooner is fractionally better. Um, Part of it depends on what's important to you, is if you're fitting them over other glasses, yeah. if um, price, yeah. or style. Because the Gooners basically come like this. Yeah. I think most of them are they all, all like, like that. They're all like that, far I can see. And they might have but they have two style. different sets. They have gaming Gooners. Yeah, also, for the computer. For Actually, the I did like those. They have gaming Gooners, which are a little bit different. But, um, but you know, right now, this is this, what we have. We're guessing that by the next time we do something, that's we're going to have twice as many on a table like this to show people. Yeah, and glasses. on these, the Marshawn I like because they had a lot of selection. The price was priced very, very well. So those were great. And they also have those clip-on glasses. Yeah. The Calvin Klein's I like because they double as sunglasses. So part of it is, is there's something I like in all of them. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, so we're, we're, like I said, we're just... It's every, there's a glass for every taste of, out there available. Mm -hmm. But um, there are no IMAX glasses on this table, none. Oh, that's right, because we did take these to the IMAX. And yeah, we, we did, were... and then we discovered that an IMAX has a different, IMAX is this way. Actually, they're big, round, they look like uh, bug eyes. They, they look like bug eyes, and basically they're big, they cover more, they cover like, like that on a face, so. Mm -hmm. We do not, these will not work on an IMAX screen because it's just it's this way and this way. And these are basically meant for like this, so. Mm -hmm. But, you know, that's, you know, right now, this is mostly what we tell you about the glasses that are currently available out there. So until next time, this is William Old Cam Honey. And this is Joyce, not a spring chick chow. And wherever you're watching it, enjoy that 3D experience. <laughs>